Wow. Uh, yeah, Outspoken started in 2004. Two fat little grandmas were frustrated because nobody was working the issue. And so, after copious bitching and whining at home in bed one night, my beloved said, then shut the fuck up, I have to go to work. Get up and start something. Oh, I'm sorry, there's babies in here. You might want to take them for a walk for this talk. Um, I, uh, and we did. I, I got up that night, I sat at my kitchen table, and I started a plan. And in the next few weeks, we called and registered with the Pride, Buffalo Pride Parade. We carried a banner that said, we don't want to marry in your church. We're asking for our civil rights so that we can marry in ours. Two people is now 1,200 people strong, and they're not all queer. We have straight supporters. We have politicians. We have family and friends. My daughters are here today. Stand up, darling. Say hi. These are my two beautiful daughters. Our three sons are out west. I do this not just for myself and my darling, whom I love more than peaches. I do this for every one of you. And so does every outspoken member. I do this for my 12 grandkids. Every single one of you should have the same rights as every other American. Not civil unions, but marriage, sir. Not close, but by a different name. I don't want to drink out of a different drinking fountain. We have come of age. Initially, when I started doing this work, and I got involved with Stonewall, De Stonewall Democrats, wonderful organization and every one of you should be in it, it was the most interesting experience of my life. We were so excited when a politician would show up for an endorsement. Holy fuck, Margaret, they're wanting an endorsement from us. Well, you know what? We grew up. Pink votes have incredible power. If you don't believe so, ask our current president of the United States. We got him in office. It was us. We rallied around a belief that there have to be champions of our cause. Are you a champion of our cause? Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> a champion of your own equality because I can guarantee you no one is going to just show up and give it to you. By God, they will freaking show up at events and shake your hand because they're running for office. But they haven't been working with us for seven years. They haven't been standing on street corners with us screaming as cars go by that we want our equality. They haven't gotten on buses and traveled to Albany with us at 3 a.m. and getting back at midnight and still being in class or at work the next morning at 4 a.m. Only a handful. And that's why Outspoken is what it is. We are a political organization. As I sat listening to all the organizations that have been named off, I thought, holy shit, do they realize we're a political organization? It is what we are. It is all that we are. Change will not happen until it is legislated. And change will not happen by the same old system that's been in effect. By the same people who have been in office and have not been there for us, but now choose to run for a new position and suddenly want to show up and say, I'd like the Stonewall endorsement, but I'm not going to take my advertisement off the Illusi website that, by the way, supports hate speech against every single person in this room. If you're okay with that, if you're okay with someone giving money to an organization that promotes hate speech against you and you and you, then you'll give that person your money. But shame on you. Shame